Hey there, either Holder Fire Familia, welcome to another Narjan Reacts. In this video, we're reacting to The Legend of Vox Machina, Season 1, Episode 10. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. I don't like that the episode's called Depths of Deceit. I really wonder about Cassandra. Unless it's to do with this new character. Their faces. Dr. Ripley. Oh. Don't play dumb. It won't end well for you. Just tell us how oh. to access the secret under white. I do love it when they hold out. Ah. Sadly, that may leave a Okay, now I understand why he's not wanting he, he's not wanting his bear. Percy, wait! He didn't shoot her. I don't think he did. Shot. Oh. Oh, Cassandra. She's unarmed. Literally. So my Another Briarwood pawn I'm about to remove from the board. <laughs> no, that's why. Here I thought you, you must be curious as to the information I possess. It is curious why she no, they left her alive. <laughs> he goes back to lock picking like awkwardly. Uh, quick Pike, can you divine anything? If Percy will let me. Would you let me exercise you? Watch it even scare her off. Unless there's nothing there to find. Oh! Look at me, please. As soon as this is over, I will sort it out. Are you sure yeah. about that? Yeah. I swear on my family's name. But what will happen before that? Their concerns lie with the ziggurat. What? Oh, <laughs> thank you. Zippertwat, the, the thing in the skin book of evil. It all Did makes you just sense. say Zigger Twat? It does. Then trust me. Mm, it's like 50 50 right now. <laughs> if you let me live, fine. <sighs> <laughs> she was scared. I don't like We're the smirk. only sparing your life because you're useful to us. For now. <laughs> I don't know if. Mm. I don't know. Need <laughs> my <laughs> <Shall> <laughs> face. Go, then? She's smirking. I don't know. Y'all don't have holy weapons. The it may work against zombies that don't really have a brain so, and stuff, uh, but I don't know about these guys. Cassandra, was it? Are you gonna flirt with her? Seeing as how we're two unattached adults, <laughs> no. <laughs> I was about to say, you got big brother. I don't think, yeah. What are you <sighs> well, <gasps> duh, you're my best friend. Except now, you glow in the dark. <laughs> you glow in the dark. I warned you those vines have thorns. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't a rejection, it just, this isn't the time. So, it's not like she said no. Such a she has a point. Your mind is unlike any I've come across. Thank you, Cassandra. <laughs> not a compliment. <laughs> is that this little way. sister bad, uh, badgering, or? I don't know, I can't with Cassandra. I don't like that Cassandra's behind his back. Like, it just feel, I don't know. Stand back. What? That stone person's armed. Uh, that's a grave. Really, Grog? It's moving. Oh, we're about to meet your ancestors. How goes it there, sir? Uncle Nathaniel! <laughs> Oh. I'm Keyleth, friends with your nephew. Oh god, you smell like shit. Oh my god. Oh my god, Grog. Oh, sacre bleu. That'd be funny if one of them's like, sorry, sorry, sorry. Grog's just having a blast. Grog? But you'll regret this. Wait, why is she. Why did she say he's gonna regret this? What, finding out? 
What, not letting her have a weapon to arm herself? Mind giving this a shove, big man? Oh, I'm knock, sorry. Knock, knock. Could you say that again? Ah, uh, croc, now's oh, not the time. Uh, since you have so nicely. <coughs> I would have laughed if even he couldn't move it. I don't trust her. You don't trust anyone. Well, except you. <laughs> Funny way of showing it sometimes. <sighs> yeah, I'm really disappointed in you, Keyless. Wait, what? Uh, no, what? Scanlan's the one who said. Gag. Oh, gag. <laughs> Poor Keyla. It's a drug factory. Oh my God! Don't snort it. You're gonna snort it. Anybody have a pipe? Thank you, Percy. Why is there like blood and chunks in that one? Why so much? Sandra, there. I knew it! I knew it! Sandra! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I called it! She would not be with them for all those years and not be converted! Oh, we made it. Plus, she had more strength than she was looking on. Excellent work, dear. What if she's under control of them? Bit of a slow learner. Uh, Vax, you're alone over there. Oh, yeah, he's under control of them too. No! Dear, you left me lying in the snow. I knew she wouldn't forgive that. Like that yellow glow. I am a Briarwood. Is she under their control though? Always the unlucky one. <laughs> the middle finger! What is in here? Acid? Oh, you real fucking original. Vax, brother. Don't you at least want to see Grog die? Hmm? Wow. Keyless needs to say something. Ah, my one. Yeah. Percy, a little help. Percy's in shock again. Right. I'm out of ideas. It's like Hulk just fun. smashing if it doesn't work. Give up. Some time. I was gonna say, take out the main source. Plug it. Uh, Will the acid eat through it, though? Fam. Uh, fam. <laughs> oh, now there's more. <laughs> Stay out of the acid. No, uh, no, duh. <laughs> Percy. Somebody needs to grab him. Oh, Percy's broken. Percy's broken. Here, noodle. Little noodle. <laughs> She's gone again. Scanlan. Maybe. I mean, not Scanlan. Percy. We will never abandon you. So don't abandon us. You want your sister back. Them. You have to save us first. So wake up. Use that big brain of yours. Right. That's it. Heavy metal? No. Yeah. <laughs> the heavy metal. Let's mechanism. Rock on, Scanlan. You have to be insane to go in. Grop. His eyeballs. Ow, ow, ow! The eyeballs, I think, would be the worst. I love how the bubbles are perfectly like censoring him. How convenient his clothes are right there next to him. Is Captain Winky still there? Captain Winky! Uh, still hanging low, buddies. <laughs> still hanging. I'm good. Let's go. Ah, your clothes? Mm. Yeah. I got my drawers. <laughs> Cassandra. I think she's possibly in their control considering you saw a flash of like yellow in her eye. We're not dead! At first. There's a blood sacrifice. Oh. Oh. Now we're spoiled for choice. Wait, spoiled for choice. So is it Cassandra or Bax? I knew Cassandra was not to be trusted. I knew it. Chirp. Alright, am I getting to my thoughts? Okay, so that was uh 
That was, I, I, I like that episode. I, that might actually be one of my favorites just because of the, I don't know, like the Cassandra backstabbing, you know, like traitor thing. I was expecting that, but like, I don't know. I like this episode quite a bit. Um, I think also like the uh, uh, Anna character, I feel like it's kind of funny that, I mean, like she tortured... Like you look, it, you look at the universe though, and it's kind of like you sit there going, "Oh, you tortured children, so you're a bad character." But at the same time, I don't know. Maybe she's just kind of like the kind of character where it's she'll do whatever she has to to survive. So she worked with the Briarwoods and did what they wanted her to. To, but then she says that she didn't agree with like what they were going to do with what that uh, device or whatever it is that she helped them make or improve upon and whatever. So she's not fully like, oh, I don't care if the world's destroyed or, you know, a bunch of people die because of me or, or be because of what I make. She does have some morality, um, but at the same time, she doesn't. But then, of course, I think that's a show like Cassandra, who he had full trust in, backstabbed him, whereas the one that he didn't trust at all and was prepared to kill is the one that saved his life from the trap and, you know, helped them survive the acid. But at the same time, her life was on the line. So I would say the only one that was a good example of that was the trap because she technically could have let him die and then been like, you know, maybe that'll teach him to let me lead or, or let me be ahead and stuff. But like she saved him anyway. So, but that could also be to gain his trust. I don't know. So it's just kind of like, I, yeah. Um, also, I'm sorry, but freaking Grog at the end with the acid and just like him being like, Captain Winky still there. <laughs> Uh, that's so funny. Um, yeah, so now Vax is under their spell and with them, and they're wanting a sacrifice, but they're saying they have choices, so I think Cassandra... What if they sacrifice both? I don't know. Um, yeah, overall, the plot for this episode was, uh, I would say... Mm, good, great. Uh, characters were great, animation was good, um, uh, music... I like the metal music, <laughs> or rock music, I should say. I don't know if that was really metal. I would say, like, rock metal, I guess, if that's the thing. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, but, yeah, overall, great episode. Really liked it. Uh, those were my thoughts for it. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, night, and keep ring bright. See ya!